Pokemon Go has taken over, and across Austin, we're seeing people playing just about everywhere. Well, now some companies are trying to convert the hours you're walking around playing into money for charities. The Night Beats' Aaron Jones is live now to explain. Aaron. Well, Tina, some of the people that we spoke to out here today at Auditorium Shores tell us that they're playing this game five to six hours at a time, walking around trying to catch Pokemon. While some might think this is a waste of time, a handful of developers say it's not. Since its release, Pokemon Go has encouraged gamers to get outside. Tyler Fuentes spent several hours yesterday trying to catch them all. From like 10 to 4 o'clock in the morning. This afternoon, he was right back at it. He says he's walking. More than I noticed I should be. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy is on her fourth walk for the day, and more may be coming. I'm going out like six, seven times a day. Since her owner downloaded Pokemon Go, she spent a lot of time outside while he searches for Pokemon. In 45 minutes, Mahir Siddiqui has walked just over a mile. Since the game was released, he said he's averaging about three miles in a day. These miles could be turned into dollars according to Walk for a Dog. The more people walking with the phone application running in the background, the greater the donation. Siddiqui says he likes the idea and it's something he downloads. Yeah, definitely I would. If you don't have a dog, there are other applications like Charity Miles. For every mile walked or run, you earn 25 cents for charity. For every mile biked, you earn 10 cents. To use it, launch the app, choose one of their 30 listed charities to donate to, and start walking. I feel like that fit this really well at that, you know? for how much everyone out here is walking. Cody Drago, who plays for generally, you know, six plus hours a day, is looking into it. He says so far he's walked like 40 to 50 kilometers right now playing this game. And in case you're looking for a dog to adopt this weekend, the Austin Animal Center is actually hosting a Pokey party from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Any Pokemon Go user that uploads a photo of a dog could get their adoption fee waived. Reporting live, Aaron Jones, KVU News Nightbeat. KVU meteorologist Jared Plushnik joining us now from the Storm Center. Jared, a great idea, but make sure you bring your sunscreen if you're doing that. Right? Oh, yeah, definitely. It, looks, it seems like a lot of people are playing this game. And uh, guess what? Our weather snapshot today. I think I actually found a Pokemon. Take a look at this. Well, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. It's a good one. It's from uh, Bob McAdams. If you want to send in your weather snapshot, send it to snapshot at kiwi.com. And if you're the win winner for the month, you will get a $100 gift card from IBC Bank. Uh, Bob McAdams, thank you so much for that great picture. Unfortunately, with the lack of rainfall, we still have the burn bans in effect for the uh, typical counties that we've been talking about over the past week. Uh, now, Fayette County has been added to that list. So even for the week, Weekend outdoor burning 100% restricted. Take a look at the numbers today. They were huge. 100 at the airport, 101 at Camp Mabry. That is five days in a row for at least Camp Mabry and the eighth time so far this year. Just shy of 90 degrees, and it's past 10 o'clock. That's a hot one for us. Uh, 90 degrees is the current number in Lano, and we have a mixture of 80s and low 90s out there. Let's factor in the humidity. Feels even warmer than that when you step outside. Feels like middle 90s. Wow, it's a tough night to be outside. All right, we have a cold front up there. It's not going to be moving in our direction, but in fact, it did create a little bit of trouble for the East Coast today. Take a look at all these wind reports through the Carolinas, even up towards Massachusetts, over 60 mile per hour winds blowing in windows and even taking uh, some shingles off of roofs. In Colorado today, baseball size hail right around Denver, even a couple of tornado reports. And look at this, just to the north and west of us, we have a line of strong thunderstorms. I wish we could see some of that rain. Unfortunately, that is likely going to be petering out before it heads here. As we head overnight tonight, we'll see a mostly cloudy sky develop by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Temperatures begin in the 70s. And just as the trend has been showing us, we'll see mostly sunny skies for the afternoon. It is going to be another scorcher, triple digit heat yet again across central Texas. Under the microscope today, we found mold in the medium count over the next five to seven days, likely finding ragweed for the first time this year. All right, here's a look at our seven day forecast. The uh, trend is calling for more sunshine. Look at the numbers well above average. And guess what? Here at KVU, we go beyond the seven day forecast. We're going to give you a 10 day forecast. Could you believe it? And guess what? No rain in the forecast, unfortunately. So uh, just as we all have been telling you, just stay cool, stay hydrated. 
even in the next 10 days. Wow, temperatures in the upper 90s to near 100 degrees. When you guys say that the weather pattern is repeating itself in this summer of method, you know, we're kidding, 10 yeah. days. Typically, we say uh, in uh, the storm center, the trend is your friend. This time, the trend <laughs> is not our friend. No. All right, Jared, thank you. How about you're some uh, golf weather? If well, you've got somebody to carry your bag. The trend in Scotland is cold and wet and mm. very windy. Well, Jordan Spieth was on the brink of being home, sent home early from Scotland today. I'd really like to play the weekend. What happened in round two, and is he going to play this weekend? Find out when KB returns.